If you want to impress your friends and family with an easy trick that most dogs can learn really quickly, keep watching. Today's video is sponsored by Peplo. Click thumbs up for Jacob the Rescue Dog. And if you're new to my channel, click subscribe right now and help the dog training revolution get one step closer to a million subscribers. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to teach your dog to speak or bark when you ask, as well as be quiet when you ask them to. In addition to that, I'm gonna show you how to introduce a new word or phrase to your dog too. But your dog shouldn't have to bark just to remind you that you need more dog food. Set up automatic pet food delivery at PetFlow. Choose your favorite brand of dog food and how often you want it delivered. That's really all there is to it. And your food will always be there whenever you need it. You don't even have to remember to order it. When you change the way you buy dog food, you're supporting content just like this. I'm gonna have a special link and a coupon code in the description so you can try it and see if it's right for you. There are a number of advantages to teaching speak to your dog, not the least of which is achieving better communication with each other, and that's really what it's all about. Now with a whole bunch of dogs out there, you can teach speak in a single training session with them. And if you want to improve your overall training skills, speak is a great thing to teach because it helps you get really good at your overall timing, which is a critical element when teaching a dog. It's important to have an amazing currency, something your dog really loves, like real chicken. But you could also use a toy if your dog is absolutely obsessed with that toy. The key is your dog has to love the thing that you're teaching them with, not just like it. So let's get down to business. The first thing you wanna do is give your dog a treat just to let them know, look, I got something really good and just keep it right there, just out of their reach. At this point though, refrain from saying, speak, speak. Your goal right now is just to wait them out and kind of hang out with their currency, but not give it to them until they bark as if to say, hey, what's going on? What do I have to do to get that? It's normal for there to be, you know, many minutes of waiting in the beginning. I'm just gonna ignore these other things. This is a very intermediate habit where a dog will start doing everything they know in order to get the reward. He's going through his drills, things he knows, he's lying down saying, is this what you want? Is this what I have to do? Do you want me to leave it? Is that what you want? I'll do that. His play dead, as you can see, his rollover, because in the past, those have resulted in him getting the things he wants. This confusion is only temporary because as he reasons it through and does a variety of things, we're just going to be there to let him know which is the right thing we like. It's kind of like a game of hot and cold. You can see his eyes right now. He's really, really thinking it through. Do you see that look? He had his I'm thinking about barking face on right there, so that's why I rewarded. Yes, good, that was very good. It wasn't huge, but I want to let him know he's on the right track. Yes, now that we've got it going, I want to keep it going. I don't want to take breaks here. I want to just keep the, yes. Keep the progress going because he's starting to get it now. Yes, good. I'll take that. But I still want to turn that kind of rumbling growl into a nice proper bark. Right there, I could have rewarded, but I'm trying to up the ante a little bit. Yes, good. I'm refraining from saying speak here until I get the behavior a little bit more reliably and where I want it. So. Yes, good. That one was a tad bit louder, so I'm liking this. <laughs> he's doing spin. That's another trick he's been mastering. Yes, good. Very good. And I'm going to give him a nice big dose of the thing he wants here, which is real chicken. The idea is he learns when he gives that nice proper bark that I'm looking for, that I give him those extra rewards to really make it ultra clear in his mind. That's the behavior I'm looking for. And I expect this to start coming a little bit quicker now. Yes. Yes, good. Yes. Yes, very good. Oh man, that was good. What I love about teaching things like speak, for example, is that you have to motivate your dog to want to do the behavior. You can't force a dog to do this. You can't teach this with traditional training methods like a choke chain or a prong collar. The best way to introduce a new word like speak in this case to your dog is to say the word just as or just before they do it. Let me show you what I mean. Speak. Very good. You can invent your own hand signals, whatever feels natural to you. So for speak, for Jacob, I'm kind of doing this, speak. Speak, good. Now let's see if Jacob will speak when I ask him to upon request. It's pretty early for this, but it would be pretty nice if he did. Speak, yes. And right now I'm not really picky on the volume or anything. I just want to see that he's making an effort. Speak, yes. Speak, yes.
Good job. Speak. This is how you show your dog what a word or a phrase means. Jacob's really getting the hang of this, maybe a little too much so. So at this point, I'm pretty confident that Jacob knows what speak means. Speak. Chances are, once you teach your dog to speak like this, they're gonna start barking all the time once they realize, hey, barking gets me rewards. So that's probably something you don't want, which is why it's important for your dog to understand what quiet means. So it's very important that I don't reward him for speak unless I specifically ask for it. Again, since he knows what it means, if he didn't know, I would be a little bit more tolerant. Didn't ask for it that time, I'm not going to reward. Again, it might seem a little mean that I'm holding the treat out here just like we were doing, but I want to make sure that I'm very clear about my communication here. No. When I say no, I'm making that treat go far away to let him know, no, that's the thing that's making it go away. No. Quiet, yes, there was a moment of quiet there, so I'm gonna come in and reward for that. I'm gonna try and build on that quiet time now. Speak, good. Quiet, yes. I didn't even give him much of a chance to bark there, but that's okay because I captured the behavior while he was being quiet. So my goal here is to get a good speak and a good quiet back to back. Speak, good, nice work. Jacob, quiet. Yes, good work, buddy. But what you're really doing here is you're polishing your communication with your dog, and that's what it's all about. If you wanna be able yes. to achieve a very high level of mutual communication with your dog, then you've gotta teach things like this to them. Not every dog, though, is cut out for speak. Some dogs are just a little more reserved or quiet or just kind of mellow, but that's okay, though. Every dog is different. I've got lots of videos on my YouTube channel, so there's lots of different things you can teach your dog. Now, if you are struggling with unwanted barking, say, when people come over or when someone knocks at the door, I'm gonna have a great video in the description that'll show you how to deal with general annoying barking. If you found this video helpful, consider giving us a monthly tip on Patreon. We use those funds to educate the public about humane, positive, fun dog training. Give Jacob a big thumbs up if you think he did well. Sit. Nice work. Make sure you're subscribed so you see our future videos and change the way you buy dog food by getting your food from petflow.com slash Zach George. I'll have a link and a coupon code in the description to get you all set up. We'll see you guys in the next video. Good job, buddy. Jacob rocked in this video. Now, if your dog's barking is out of control, see my video with Calliope. Teaching your dog anything requires good communication. See the art of communicating with your dog to learn how to better fine tune your communication. Leash walking skills are essential, but what if your dog acts like a crazy dog on a walk? Check out my recent leash training session with Jacob to learn how a beginner leash walking session should look. Thank you for subscribing and an extra special thank you to all of those that support these videos on Patreon.